What's up, my LS Crazy Amigos? It's your boy, Terry. Speaking from the garage shop once again. Here to offer you some more Big Bang for the Buck product and LSA installing tips. Yeah, almost to the point. All right, almost. We're going to be flying this car really any, any day now. But what we're going to talk about today is, <clears throat> you, know, you got this LSA in here, you got to plumb it. You know, you got to send some, some coolant or water through this thing. So, you know, I'm going to show you how I did mine because what you're going to have to get, you know, you got, you saw me install the, the heat exchanger and you saw me install the top, but you didn't see me install the, the pump for the heat exchanger and the reservoir. So I want to go over a couple of things with that and show you how I did it because what I did was I got a Bosch pump from, uh, I think it was a Shelby or a Cobra Mustang. I know. I know what you guys are thinking. <laughs> Why would you put Ford's part in the exchanger? But hey, it's a good pump, strong pump for what you need. Let me show you how I hooked mine up and take it from there. Okay. One more time from the top. <laughs> the top. All right, check it out. This is how I ran mine. Okay, now the water's coming out of the brick, going all the way down into the reservoir. And if you can see it out there, it comes out the reservoir and loops into the pump. Out the pump, through the firewall, to the top of the exchanger. And it's getting cooled all up in here. And then it comes out of the exchanger, through the firewall, back, bringing that nice cool water to the top. At the time I'd like to mention, uh, my friend Greg, he wired up the pump and he put relays on it. He did a really nice job. I want to give him a big shout out because he is the wiring man. If you need some wiring work done, check this out. So this guy, Greg, I went to school with him. This guy has been doing wiring. He's probably one of the, I will give him this. He is one of the best wiring guys that I know of. If not, I would put him against anyone in the country. I've seen this guy wire motorcycles, I've seen this guy wire, it doesn't matter what it is. In fact, he did stereo in this car. Uh, it doesn't matter if you if you have a harness, you know, like sometimes when you buy an engine, you, you get the harness with the engine, but sometimes they chop up the wires or whatever, he will get that wire harness working. He'll, even if, you, even if, if you're not on a budget and you can just go and get a brand new harness and you just don't want to, some people just are not wired guys. If you don't want to go and do it yourself, give this guy a call. He will travel to your house if it's close to him anyways. And, um... He will hook you up. He, like I said, he gets my stamp of approval. He's, like I said, a good friend of mine, one of the best wire guys. Tell him, tell him Terry sent you. Of course, he'll probably see the video. He'll know I sent you. But anyways, <laughs> but anyways, but give him a call if you if 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 the wire is not your realm, he'll take care of you. All right. Listen. You hear that? That is the sound of sweet LSA cooling flowing through the LSA system. See that water swishing round in the reservoir? That's what's up. So that is how I'm cooling my LSA and my 71 Chevelle on my 71 Chevelle. I mean, that's how I, like I said, you know, turn the system off. And if you have any questions, you know how to reach me. I'm not a hard brother to find, but I'm looking at the clock on the wall, or should I say ceiling, it's time for me to head on off. If you have any questions, what's up, you know? And always, I just want to tell you, thank you very much. Love the love, and always, please, be easy, and I'll catch you guys.